Hi students, welcome to Tutitude. Yesterday uh, we completed the RTS SPDCL exam. So in that exam, some questions came from control system subject also. Okay. So today's session we are going to solve about the different questions came in yesterday's TS SPDCL exam. Okay. Let's start the session. The first question: A open loop system represented by the transfer function g of s is equal to s minus one and s plus 2 into s plus 3 s plus 2 into s plus 3 this is the transfer function given what is the transfer function given g of s is equal to s minus 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 okay so what and all the options given just observe they are given a stable and minimum phase type phase type okay they are asking about whether it is stable or unstable or whether it is minimum phase system or non minimum phase system Okay, we already discussed in theory part, if all poles and zeros are uh, uh, lied in left side of S-plane, then the system is called minimum phase system and system also stable. If some of the zeros, especially some of the zeros uh, lied on the, right, uh, lie on the right, right side of the S-plane, then that system is called non-minimum phase. Okay, non-minimum phase. If you observe here, 1, 0 is lying on the right HS, RHS side. Okay, RHS side of the S plane. So, it is going to be a non-minimum phase type. From this you can say, it is a non-minimum phase type. Next, you are going to see about the stability. Stability is nothing but, uh, they are given two poles. S is equal to minus 2 and S equal to minus 3. Okay, both are lied on the left side of the S plane. So, the system is stable the system is stable stable and non minimum phase type okay the option is the option is b okay what they are asking they given one transfer function they are asking which type of system and whether it is stable or not so based on the location of the zeros you can say whether it is a minimum phase system or non minimum phase system so from that we decided it is a non minimum phase system Next, if you observe the poles, both are located on LHS side. Both poles are located on LHS side. So, the system is stable. So, the system is stable. The option will be B. Next question. The closed loop transfer function of the system is given the steady state error due to the unit step input. Okay. Whenever the question came on the steady state error, whenever the question came on the steady state error, First thing we need to observe the type of the transfer function. Okay, this is S square. Okay, they are given 4 by S square plus 0.4S plus 4. T of S is equal to 4 by S square plus 0.4S plus 4. From this you can observe this, it is a type 2 system. The first thing what we need to do? First thing we need to do, identify the identify the type of the system since it is a type 2 system the study state error study state error what the input they given next thing what we need to observe what type of input is given here the input is given unit step input <coughs> okay so for unit step input or for step input for type 2 system the study state error study state error is going to be 0 is going to be 0 is it clear? So, in this is the one of the most important questions repeated many times. What we need to observe? First, we need to identify the type of the system. Next, we need to see what type of input is given. From these two things, we can relate and we can able to answer the question. So, the answer is C. Next question. Which of the following compensations is adapted for improving the transient response of the negative unity feedback system? Okay, they are asking uh, to improve the transient, uh, transient uh, response. We already studied the, the different compensation, the lead compensation and lag compensation. So, from this you can say that uh, by using uh, phase lead compensation, we can improve the transient performance. We can improve the transient performance. Okay. By using phase lag compensation, you can use the steady state. Steady state performance study state performance okay this is direct theory bit okay 
next thing the phase lead network given as okay they given uh, where a is less than 1 would be the provide maximum phase lead at frequency we already discussed the phase lead compensation in that it is direct question only the la, that will be 1 by t root 2 a okay the maximum phase lead ca can be occurred at frequency can be occurred at the frequency omega is equal to 1 by t root 2 a or you can write pi m maximum phase lead will occur at the rate omega is equal to 1 by t root 2 a we already discussed in the phase lead compensation next question the transfer function of the system is given as g of s is equal to 100 by s square plus 20 s plus 100 this system is okay whenever they given the transfer function and they are asking the type of system that means whether critically damped and over damped or under damped system first we need to note down the transfer function given s square plus 20 s plus 100 this is going to be compared with the characteristic equation or standard second order equation okay the characteristic equation is going to be 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square by comparing these two equations we will get omega omega n square is equal to 100 thereby omega n is equal to 10 and the second term 2 zeta omega n is equal to the given 20 okay so from this zeta will get 10 by 10 zeta equal to 1 okay so first thing what we need to do we need to find the value of zeta based on the value of zeta we need to decide the damping system okay if it is equal to 1 it is a critically damped if it is above 1 greater than 1 means over damped less than 1 means under damped so our system is now critically damped the option is c the option is c next question okay the transfer function of pole zero as shown in figure and steady state function gain is 6 the transfer function gs g of s will be given by okay when this type this type of questions are came first observe the diagram from observing diagram itself we can answer the question what the what and all there so two poles are there two uh, two poles are there in the j axis and two poles are there at one this is zero okay it is at zero okay one pole at zero and one zero is there in the left side so zero is there at three so it will be s plus three first observation is one zero is at minus three so it will be s plus three just observe the options i think almost all options they given s plus three and one more thing is one pole at one pole at they given one pole at origin one pole at origin how many equations are there three three are there then they given the steady state gain okay steady state gain means s is equal to zero when if you substitute the s equal to zero we need to get the gain as gain as six we need to get the gain as six just substitute just substitute we will get the answer as b simply you can write 0 plus 3 by what you will get the steady state value if you found you will get 30 by 5 that means 6 okay steady state value is nothing but the final value only <coughs> final value that means what is the final value limit s stands to 0 s into c of s okay so by substituting like this s into <coughs> 10 into s plus 3 divided by s into s square plus 4s plus 5 this s and this s cancel if you substitute s is equal to 0 we will get 30 by 5 and it will be 6 <coughs> so it is matching so option is b by seeing simply the pole and zero location and gain we can calculate this is the best method just substituting zero is very easy no so we can get the answer in a quick time next question the root locus of the system g of s and h of s equal to k by s into s plus 2 into s plus 3 the break has the breakaway point okay whenever this type of question is came first draw the draw the root locus just draw the root locus 
ओके वाट आर दे गिवेन देर अट आरिजन वन पोल इज देर अट टू वन इज देर अंड अट थ्री वन इज देर अट थ्री अंड अट टू अंड अट जीरो सो वी नो दट द सम ऑफ पोल्स एंड जीरो शुड बी आर्ड दे इट इज द रूट रूट लोकस विल एक्जिस्ट ओके सो इन दिस इन दिस पार्ट रूट लोकस इज देर इन दिस पार्ट रूट लोकस इज देर हियर द सम इज इवन सो हियर इट वोट बी देर सो द रूट लोकस इज लाइक दिस ओके वाट एवर आई हाईलैटेड दट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द रूट लोकस जस्ट अबर्व ओके हियर पोल इज स्टार्टेड एंड हियर आलो रूट लोकस स्टार्टेड इट नीड टू बी अट वन पॉइंट इट नीड टू बी come out it need to be come out that point is called break away point so there is a chance uh, there is a chance of break away point break away point between 0 and minus 2 just observe the options G, uh, just observe the options the option is uh, the option is uh, only one value is matching between 0 and 2 only one value is matching that option is d no need to do all calculations and all just by looking itself we can put the answer here okay next question in the initial slope of the border border plot gives an indication of okay while drawing the border plot for a given transfer function the first thing what we are going to use type of the system first thing we observe the type of the system based on that the initial slope we are going to draw so the first initial slope of the border plot is going to give the type of the system this is direct question <coughs> okay next <coughs> given the system f of s is equal to s plus 2 into s, s into s plus 1 the initial and the final values of f of t will be just to note down the formula for initial value theorem so, okay initial value what is initial value limit s tends to infinity c s into c of s okay we'll write down the given transfer function limit s tends to infinity s into s plus 2 by s into s plus 1 okay s into s plus 1 this s and this s will get cancelled limit s tends to infinity okay if we get common the s on both the numerator and denominator it will be like this okay by substituting the infinity we will get the value 1 okay the initial value is 1 and final value is we know that the final value equal to limit s tends to 0 s into c of s s into c of s then if you substitute that what you will get s plus 2 into s into s plus 1 okay this is limit s tends to 0 this s and this s will get cancel out if you substitute the zero we will get 2 therefore final value is equal to 2 okay this is very simple we know the two initial and final values the formulas we just substitute and we will get the 1 and 2 the option will be a 1 and 2 initial value is 1 final value is 2 next question The transfer function of the given system is v of s by a of s is equal to s by s plus three. The system at rest for t less than zero. What will be the value of v of t for t greater than or equal to zero? If a of t where a of t is a unit step function, okay. So what he is asking our transfer function the given in the s domain, but they are asking the answer in t domain, okay? They are asking the option in the t domain. so what you need to do we need to do the inverse laplace transform first we will find out the v of s in s domain okay what they are asking v of s value only no okay v of s we will find out the v of s in s domain after applying inverse laplace transform we are going to get the v of t okay let's start so the given v of s by i of s equal to s by s plus 3 from this v of s can be written as s by s plus 3 into i of s okay s by s plus 3 into i of s now what is the input they are given the value of i of t where v of t is the unit step where e of t is the unit step so okay if it is a unit step if you apply the 
Uh, if you apply the inverse Laplace transform, where i of t is the unit step, in this uh, for a unit step, i of s, are they given? The transfer function they given. V of s is equal to. So now what is the input we are giving? Input is i of s. So the system is like this. Okay. The system is like this. The system is like this. Output by input. The transfer function is output by input. So we are giving the input of input of i of s and we are getting i uh, we are this one as s of okay this is the thing okay what they are giving a unit unit step function so if you are giving a unit step function the transfer function for this unit step will be 1 by s then our v of s is going to be written as 1 by s into s by s plus 3 so v of s will get 1 by s plus 3 v of s will get 1 by s plus 3 if you apply the inverse laplace transform for that what you will get e power minus 3t the answer is e power minus 3t it is very simple first we can we calculated the for step input we calculate the v of s after that we applied the inverse laplace transform and we got the answer as p of t is equal to e power minus 3t okay okay these are the different questions we got from the control systems thank you